What is going on today, guys? My name's Alex. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about five weight ratings I think are important when you are towing. So stick around because there may be some ratings that you guys might not have considered. Number one is the actual tow rating of the truck or the vehicle. Now that may seem obvious, but there usually is a little bit more to it. So for example, we'll use a 2022 Ram 1500. Now a simple Google search would reveal that the max tow rating of that truck would be 12,750 pounds. However, it's not that simple. In order to get that max tow rating, your truck needs to be configured in a very specific manner including what engine you have, what transmission you have, what kind of gearing are in the truck, how big the box is, whether or not you have a crew cab, and all kinds of fun stuff. And for our example, in order to get that 12,750 pounds of max towing ability, the truck has to be configured like this. You need a 5.7 Hemi, an eight speed transmission, you need 391 gears in the back, you have to have a 6.4 bed, meaning you can't have a crew cab, you have to have a quad cab, as well as, and here's the kicker, the truck needs to be a two wheel drive vehicle. So if your truck were to come with anything different, your tow rating would actually be less. So a very common configuration of the Ram 1500 is a four x four truck, five seven Hemi, eight speed transmission, 321 gears, as well as the five seven box crew cab. So if your truck is configured in that way, you don't have 12,750 pounds of max towing capacity, you only have 8,200 pounds of max towing capacity. Something as simple as the gearing in the truck can dramatically decrease your max towing capacity. So 321 gears come standard in every Ram 1500 with one exception, and that is the Ram Rebel. They come with 391 gears. And in order to get 391 gears, you have to basically order those things specifically. And if you didn't, your truck is gonna come with 321 gears. Now, why am I worried about gearing? Well, the difference between having 391 gearing versus 321 is about 4,200 pounds of max towing capacity difference. So if your truck does have 321 gears, you are not gonna be anywhere near 12,000 pounds of max towing capacity. Number two rating that I find important is another obvious one. It is the truck's max payload. Now, like your truck's max towing numbers, the payload is often going to be advertised as the absolute max number for a specific truck. And in order to get to that max number, once again, you need a very specific configuration of truck. Now, sticking with our example with a Ram 1500, Ram claims that that truck is gonna have a max payload of about 2,300 pounds. But if you guys have a crew cab four wheel drive truck, your max payload's only gonna be around 1,700 pounds. So you're gonna lose, I don't know, do some quick math there, about 600 pounds of payload simply by having a crew cab as well as a four wheel drive drive line. So those are things to consider once again, when you guys are looking at your truck's towing ability, because payload, as most of us probably know, is going to uh, directly affect how much tongue weight you can actually put on the truck. Now, a very quick and easy way to check your payload on your truck is just by checking the sticker on the driver's side door here. Um, mine is 1,483 pounds, so just under 1,500 pounds. Every truck will have the sticker here. Now, when it comes to getting an official towing number for your truck, usually what you have to do is go online and go through some charts. I'll put a link down below to the Ram charts there, and um, you guys can go through, and it has every configuration of truck. All right, maybe getting into some less common ratings here. Get that out of the way. So this receiver here, this is a class five receiver. It's a two and a half inch receiver. This has a tow rating as well as a tongue weight rating all on its own. Um, now my old Ram 1500 was a 2017 Ram 1500 and it had a class four receiver with a max tongue weight of 600 pounds as well as a max towing ability of 600 pounds. Now that may seem very low because that truck did have a max tow rating of 8,000 pounds. Now, what they don't tell you at the dealership is that in order to get to that 8,000 pounds safely is you need a weight distributing hitch. You simply can't put a standard hitch in this receiver in order to get to that 8,000 pounds. And it's the same for a 2022 Ram 1500. In order to get to that max 12,750 pounds, you need a weight distributing hitch in that receiver. If you don't, 
technically you're gonna be overloading this receiver here. Now, luckily with the power way, you're gonna get that class five hitch like I mentioned earlier. And this has a max tongue weight of a thousand pounds and a max towing capacity of 10,000 pounds without a weight distributing hitch, which is very nice to have. So uh, we'll throw this thing back in here. Now, like the receiver, the hitch itself has a weight rating also, both for tongue weight as well as max towing uh, capacity. Now, the first time I ever towed was with a 96 Chevrolet truck, wonderful truck, um, and I towed with a rusty old hitch. Who knows how much it was rated for, but I really wasn't towing that much weight anyways. But it is a good thing to know that these also have a weight rating. So this hitch right here has a max towing capacity of 13,000 pounds, as well as a max uh, tongue weight of 1,300 pounds, which is really nice to have with the bumper pull. It's pretty high numbers. But what I have noticed in the past with my old truck, which is the class four um, receiver, is that the two inch hitches tend to be rated anywhere from like six to 7,000 pounds with any kind of drop on them. Um, and then if you want to go higher than that, you really have to kind of spend the money to get a weight distributing hitch or something uh, a little bit more beefier, perhaps even forged. So it is something to look out for if you guys have a class four hitch on your uh, Ram 1500s. If you're going to be towing a lot of weight off the bumper here, make sure that your hitch is rated for it. Again, last thing you want is for anything to fail. Now, lastly, guys, number five, and this may be obvious to most people, is the actual ball itself has its own rating um, and it's nice because it's actually stamped right into it if you guys can see that i wish they would do that with the hitch as well as the receiver uh, because like i mentioned with that first truck i owned that hitch i had was just a rusty thing and uh, who knows what it was rated for but if it was at least stamped in you could see what it was rated for anyway so each ball has its own weight rating. There are also different sizes of balls, and usually as you go up in size, there's more weight ratings, but each ball still has its own weight rating. For example, this is a two and five sixteenth ball rated for 14,000 pounds, and this ball right here is only rated for 6,000 pounds. Now these are both two and sixteenth balls, but there's a huge difference in the weight rating. So always pay attention to that, just because you go up in size in the ball doesn't necessarily mean that your toe rating is gonna be the same across the size of the ball. Now that we have both hitches out, this is a two inch hitch here, and this is a two and a half inch hitch. You guys can see the size difference. It's quite overwhelming actually. Um, and so this is what would slide into your class four hitch on your Ram 1500. And like I said, so this has a max towing capacity of 6,000 um, pounds. And you know, this has a max towing capacity of 13,000 pounds. So it is a very large difference between a class five hitch and a class four hitch. Thankfully, the power wagon has a class five hitch, so I really didn't need to worry too much about um, finding the right hitches because, because it seems like they're just rated so high to begin with. So those are the five weight ratings when I'm towing that I usually take into great consideration. Now, there are some other weight ratings that could come into play. First and foremost is obviously your trailer weight. You don't want to overload your trailer. Make sure you know the GVW of your trailers. Um, best thing to do is honestly just weigh them. You can even just go to the dump and they'll weigh them for you there. Another weight rating that gets thrown around is the rear axle rating. However, most manufacturers make it that in order to exceed the rear axle weight here, you're gonna be dramatically over your payload to begin with. So generally, I don't really worry about that. If I was towing with a fifth wheel, that, that weight rating may come more into play there. And here's a little bonus tip. So, bring it over here those trailer tires right there you guys can see those things those usually have not only a weight rating but also a speed rating these ones don't i couldn't find them but on other trailers i've pulled these tires have a speed rating usually around 110 120 kilometers an hour so if you are pulling the highway double check your tires you don't want to have any blowouts uh, because you're driving too fast anyways guys hope you liked the video if you guys have anything to say about that or you think i've missed a critical weight rating feel free to drop a comment down below always love hearing from you guys and if you like cool stuff like this don't forget to subscribe but um yeah enough of me we'll see you in the next freaking video 